Hi there and welcome back to Planescape Torment. I'm Byron and we are in the mausoleum and looking for a necromant that is raising the dead. <coughs> Done. Alrighty. Hmm. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult. Alright. What was that? Did you say something? Alright. Hey! Wow! Skeleton workers. Uh, maybe I should use this one. Damn! Critical miss. That's nice. Okay. Got All some right. experience out of that. Uh, nothing here. Hey. Better if we use the pry ball. <clears throat> Did you see that? Yes, I see. It. Oh, better. So how about we bandage ourselves? It didn't have much. Try again. Okay, better. Done. Hey, I'm that? gone. Silvering. Interesting. Let's take a look at it. Nothing special about that. Done. We, this leads where? Interesting. Damn it. Damn. Good night. Good night. They didn't drop anything. Uh, let's return to the other area. <clears throat> okay, um, there's more I need to explore. Could we rest? No. Shit. Seems to be there right. are some traps here. Oh fuck a giant skeleton. I'm hurt. Yeah, I see it. Um Sure, why not? Okay, let's kite a bit. I'm gone. All right. I'm hurt. Move it. Did you see that? Okay. Too bad I don't really see how many hit points it still has. Alright. Done. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Done. 
All right. All right. Done. Fuck. Okay. Done. Okay, victory. Sort of. What does that do? Heals nine hit points. Hmm. And this here. Too dangerous to rest here. I'm gone. You didn't drop anything. No. Okay, there's. Wait, what does that say? Inner chamber. Let's not go to the inner chamber yet. Or maybe we should save and try it out. Ah, shit. Yeah, like I thought. Fine. Let's continue exploring. I'm gone. What's up? Sure, why not? Okay. Nicely. Why are you not attacking? You can get to him or what? Fine. Try it differently. Damn. Alrighty. What's in here? Heart's Charm, what does that do? Heals 20 f oh, uh, 27 hit points. That's nice. This glistening drop of blood is as hard and smooth as a pearl. When placed on the tongue, it dissolves instantly and spreads through the character's veins and hearts. The Heart Charm is more powerful than the Blood and Clot Charms and it heals a number of wounds instantly, even serious or critical injuries. For the murder, the user will also gain a rush of energy, removing any fatigue that may be may he be otherwise feeling. Okay, let's use this. Feeling much better. Oh, how about we fuck you up? Thanks. Nothing else. I'm gone. Here, right? Yes. I'm gone. Interesting. All right. I'm gone. All right. I'm gone. Done. Money is always All right. You go first. Ah. I'm gone. Don't be so fucking stupid. Why couldn't you walk across that thing here? You gotta be kidding me, man. Damn. That. Fuck I'm gone. Off. Huh? And attack. Damn it. Go 
Good riddance. All right. Another clutch charm. More bandages. Done. And Rex. Rex the riches? No. Let's hope we don't encounter such a giant skeleton again. Ow! Stupid traps. Could really use a thief in my party. Oh well. Let's go down here. I'm gone. Done. Alright. Oh shit. What? Hit it for crying out loud. Die. Thanks. Holy hell. Okay. Whee! But it worked better this time. I'm gone. So since Morty has the lower armor, I'm class, gone. It's better when they try and attack him. Oh, there's another. Oh, this is we got from here to there. Okay, I get it. Oh. Hmm, okay. Looks like we got it now. Come and get some. Damn. Anything did you? No. Sure, why not? You go in first. Thanks. What do we get loot wise? All right. A few more bandages. That's okay. We can use them. All right. So that's pretty much it, right? Done. I say it looks All like right. it. All right. Okay, now we should head over here. And prepare ourselves for the battle with the necromancer, I guess. <coughs> First of all, we switch back to the knife. Um, you could use a little healing. Thanks. The nameless one is healing slowly on his own. Okay. Oh, there are lots of skeletons. This is not nice. Strahan Rune Shadow. You see a mid-sized man in long robes of deep black. His hair is neatly coiffed and an 
impeccably trimmed goatee a compliment complements his handsome features. Noticing your arrival, he puts down the book he was writing in and strides confidently over to you, smiling. Impressive, I must admit. I never thought you would make it this far. I'm glad to have disappointed you. Are you the one responsible for all the walking dead? Who I am is of no consequence to you. What I want is the question that should concern you most. As he speaks, he looks you up and down as if somehow fascinated by you. Very well, what do you want? He takes a step back and cocks an eyebrow. I want your blood. Is that some kind of threat? The man starts to answer but stops himself abruptly. An evil smile spreads across his face and he begins to laugh. Yes, I suppose it is. He continues to laugh even harder at his own private joke. You notice that his hands have begun to move at his side. Slowly they've filled back and forth, tracing indic intricate patterns in the air. You don't let him cast. Don't let him cast. What do you have special ability wise? Litany of curses, my friend, on you. Oh, you alley bred dog. Okay, that seems to work. Sure, why not? Oh, wait, that's uh, the telephone. Always in the middle of combat. Okay, so the general idea is that if we kill this. Necromancer that the rest uh, will die, the skeletons will drop too. If I can, I can get out of there. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Alright. Morty is still attacking. Good is done. Is that correct? No! I'm gone. What's up, man? You are attacking him, is that correct? Um, no. I feel stronger. Okay. Multi killed him. And the skeletons are down. We don't get any. What's up, Chief? We don't get any loot? We do get loot. Scroll of Ice Knife. Okay. And a bracelet. Usable only by mages. Considered standard equipment for any adventuring mage bracelets such as these can be found across the plains. Judging by the markings on this particular bracelet, it appears to have been made in a, <coughs> in a style quite common in Sigil. Various glyphs of warding are meticulously carved along the surface, producing an almost hypnotic effect when looked at. When worn, this bracelet protects the wearer from normal attacks as if they were wearing scale armor. That sounds like something a mage would want to have. Too bad we don't have a mage. Okay, and uh, we also have a scroll of ice knife. Daggers of ice can be conjured that not only strike the intended target but can spread cold as ice in water. It's a level 2 wizard spell. Not too bad. So, can we level up? Yes, we can. Can we rest in here? No, we can't. So, um, let's um, save and try to level. 33. One characteristic point, two hit points, this is nothing. I want more than one hit point, this much is true. I feel stronger. Three hit points. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> I feel stronger. 
8 hit points gained. Okay. I can live with 8. So, um, what do we want? Have at least uh, 10 in charisma. So, I don't have one digit stats anymore. That's good. Thanks. Oh, it will take a while. I have a five fighter. We have three unused slots. Although I'm not actually good with um, a club. I should use fists or edged weapons. Okay. Done. What is that? A dagger. 1d6 piercing damage. It's an enchanted plus one. That's not bad. Stran Hans diary. This leather bound tome is cracked and worn with age. Some sort of crest has been burned into the cover. You can make out a series of interlocking triangles centered about the initials SR. The writing upon its pages has faded considerably, but the last few entries seem to have been penned recently. Day 2 of the 127th year of Factual Hushkar's reign. At last I have found it. The missing page of the Uptarch Grimoire is now in my, po in my possession. As I had guessed, the page detailed the necessary components for the casting of the final transformation spell. I have all but one of the components. A drop of an immortal's blood is all that stands between me and the eternal power of Lichdom. But where can I find such a rarity? Perhaps I should seek the answer through divination. Day 14 of the 127th year of Factual Hashkar's reign. Of the days of texting divination spells, I finally have my answers. The divination revealed the location of an immortal to be somewhere within an ancient mausoleum located in the hive section of Sigil. I must make haste, I must find this creature and draw its blood before it moves on. Or he came actually here to get <laughs> to the nameless one. And the nameless one came here to get to him. Oh, that was fun. Day 15 of the 127th year of Factual Hashkar's reign. I have arrived at the mausoleum. Immediately I was set upon by a shade that guards the remains of those interred within this place. I managed to elude the spirit and found my way into what appears to have been some sort of inner sanctum, protected by some minor walls to prevent any further interruptions by that supernatural twit. I have set about raising some of the locals to conduct a search for the immortal. If the divination was accurate, the immortal is here. Entity immortal is here, then likely it is interred within one of the many crypts that lie in these halls. It's only a matter of time now. No, actually, it was not. Because of your actions, the immortal came to you. Day 17 of the 127th year of Factual Hashkar's reign. I am not alone. Someone has entered the mausoleum and is interfering with my servants. Could this be the one I seek? The divination, divination revealed only that I would find the immortal here. Could it be that my presence in this place has prompted that which I seek to seek me out? What a delightful twist I shall have to think of this last entry is still wet. Yeah, well, we got more spells. Chromatic Orb. Strength. Nice. Alright, I'm good? gone. A skull. This is a generic human skull. It is not as talkative as Morty, but perhaps... That's just as well. Yeah, maybe. We give it to Morty. You know, I really need to, to drop some shit. Do I really need the pen's note and all that stuff here from the mausoleum? I should find a, some place to drop that. <coughs> Hi. As you step into the corridor, the guardian spirit materializes before you. Its ghostly countenance regards you benevolently. Benevo benevolently. I thank you. You have done me a great service. The spirits of my charges sleep quietly once again. 
Go in peace, friend. The apparition fades away, leaving you alone in the deserted halls of the mausoleum. Updated my journal. 2,000 more experience points. Okay, we did that. I've pledged to help the spirit that guards the mausoleum. It seems an intruder, intruding necromancer has sealed himself in an inner chamber with powerful wards that protect him from the spirit. He must be the one responsible for the walking dead no Raji is so concerned about. I have slain the intruding necromancer the guardian spirit spoke of. With his power broken, the dead no longer walk the halls of the mausoleum. Norachi will be pleased. Alrighty, so we give this to you and um, this to you. Where was the entrance? Up here. Could I rest? No. Oh yeah, we can leave here. What do you want? Yeah, of course. Ugh. Why is Ingress? Who's Ingress attacking? Damn it. Die. Let's talk to Ingress. You see a haggard woman wrapped in rags. Her hair is dish, dis, disheveled and dirty, and her complexion is extremely dark. Burns cover her arms, and her right hand is a fused lump of flesh. It looks melted like wax exposed to a great heat. Greetings. Updated my journal. What is it you want me? The woman's accent is thick, and you are having difficulty making out what she is saying. You want me to leave? Not leaving the city, so I'm not. I can't try it. It's not a city, it's a prison to everywhere. Everywhere? There's worlds, there's her eyes gleam madly. Plains that be sinking, sands, fields, thirsty nettles be. Sightless worlds where your limbs are given life and hate. Cities of dust whose people are dust and whisper ash. The house without doors, the twilight lands, the singing winds, the singing winds. She starts to sob quietly, but she seems all out of tears. And shadows, and terrible shadows there be. Where are these places? Where's, where's them places? She flings the lump of her right hand in an arc, gesturing at the cityscapes. There is all here be. Doors, doors, they're here to everywhere. Doors? You. You're not knowing this? She squints at you and her teeth start chattering. Tell you I will. Beware every space you walk through or touch in this thrice cursed city. Doors, gates, arches, windows, picture frames, the open mouth of a statue. All spaces between shelves. Beware any space bound on all sides. All these are doors to other places. What do you mean? Every door has a key, it does. With this key they show their true nature, an arch becomes a portal, a picture frame becomes a portal, yeah like that portal here. A window becomes a portal, all eager to take you someplace else. They steal you away, she rises to the lump of her right hand. And sometimes what's on the other hand, on the other side takes part of you as a tithe. What are these keys? The keys, the keys number as many as the doors of the city. Every door a key, every key a door. Her teeth start chattering again, as if she is cold. And a key is? A key is anything. It might be an emotion, an iron nail held between your second and fifth fingers. A thought 
thought three times, then thought once in reverse, or it may be a glass rose. All these are keys that open Updated these doors. my journal. Yes. Her teeth start chattering and she clenches her mouth closed and squints her eyes. Yes, can't leave, can't leave. How did you Updated get here? Updated my journal. From... She seems to calm slightly and her eyes take on a thousand league stare. Came from a place else from here. Almost a life ago. Hummed a tune by a glade with two dead trees that had fallen together. A brilliant door opened in the space between them crossed trees. Showed me the city on the other side. I stepped through, ended here. Why can't you go back? Tried! She tries to stop again, but no tears come. Tried! All doors here lead to other places. She shudders, grips her melted right hand. Went through thrice ten portals. Some a purpose, some a accident. None of them right. Can't find way back. There must be a portal that can take you back. Can't even leave here, this square, and there. The place of death behind the gate waits for me. She points at the mortuary behind the gate and turns back to you, her face desperate. Can't go anywhere in the city. Can't go anywhere? What do you mean? Anything could be a door. Any arch there. Any door here could be a portal. Don't know the key. Could get a sent could get a sent to another horrible place. Her teeth start chattering again. Got to stay away from closed spaces. All could be doors. Could have a key on me and I'm I not be knowing it. Yeah, but then again, the portal shows. I mean, just walk slowly and when a portal appears, back off. You, you're you afraid to go through any door or arch because it might be a portal? She nods, her teeth chattering. How long have you been afraid of this? She squints. Since the last time I walked through the last portal, the place where my hand, she stops. Since my tenth turning, I'm in my fourth, tenth turning now, dead now. Her teeth begin chattering again. Thirty years, you haven't walked through any door for thirty years. Her vision seems to clear slightly. She looks up at you, her teeth still chattering. <coughs> if you got here, there must be a portal that can take you back. It's only a matter of finding, finding it. She smiles. Her teeth aren't chattering because she is cold. They are moving around inside her mouth. Her gums twisting as the teeth shift about. They rise and recede as you watch, chattering as they rattle against each other. What? She hisses at you. It only takes one portal you steps through accident to drive the fear into you. I went through thrice ten. Lost my hand, burnt my flesh and lost my sense. She looks at her feet. More, no more. I'm sorry. If I can find some means to help you, I will. Fair Updated well. my journal. Okay. More goodies for us. Dirty red charm. Or oh, you can only have three quick items. Oh, that's sad. Oh well, inventory is getting crowded, my friends. I'm gone. Where's that other guy? I'm gone. You're not going anywhere. All right. All right. All right. So let's return to the gathering dust bomb. I'm gone. You coming? Yes. And talk to Norochi. Hello? All right. Why Done. can't I talk to you? Huh? Now it works. You see Norochi. He is pulling 
had one of his spikes of hair and using it to scratch a spot on his face. You can't help me? Yeah. I found out what was going on in the mausoleum. The dead sleep again. Updated my journal. Rochi's lines are very smoothed out as you speak. Thanks, Givai. He reaches into his robes and draws forth a small bag which he hands to you. Copper coin. A hundred. Thanks. Glad I could help. Farewell. Anything else? I'll leave him alone. Okay. So how about we call it a video and continue on the next one. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.